All right, hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we're gonna walk through how to set up conversion tracking for your LinkedIn ad campaigns. My name is Anthony Blattner. I'm from Speedwork Social, and I'm one of the LinkedIn certified marketing experts. So I'm excited to walk you through today how to set up conversion tracking so that you know how to set it up in your ad account. If you're here, you're probably either currently advertising on LinkedIn or you're planning to, and you wanna use conversion tracking to both measure and analyze the performance of your campaigns. So let's dive in. And first, let's answer the question of why is conversion tracking important? And really, it's because of two reasons. Number one is the measurement component. And when you're running your ad campaigns, you wanna know the quantity of results that you're receiving from those campaigns. That could be the number of website visitors, number of leads, or number of sales that your campaign has generated. So conversion tracking helps you measure those, those numbers. The second part is analysis. And as you run multiple campaigns and run multiple ads, you wanna know side by side how those different campaigns and ads are performing so you can make adjustments as necessary. You can answer questions like, is campaign one performing better than campaign two and move your budget accordingly? Or is ad one performing better than ad two and understand the ad creative that's resonating best with your audience? So next, let's jump over to the interface here to walk through the actual setup process. So once you're inside your LinkedIn ad account, first go over to the left-hand column here and click on Analyze. That will then open up this submenu here where you can then click on Conversion Tracking to open up this page here. When it loads, you'll first see the list of conversion events that you've currently set up. If you haven't set up any events yet, then this page will be blank. So to start your setup process, click on the Create Conversion button here, and it'll provide you three different options. The first option, use the LinkedIn Insight tag. You'll need to have this code on your website uh, to then be tracking conversions using this. This is usually the easiest setup method that most people do start with. The second option is using the Conversions API. For this, you'll need developer support, but it will allow you to push events into LinkedIn uh, using the Conversions API. You might be connecting your CRM to push sales data in, or you might be connecting your app to push conversion event data in. The third option is a CSV conversion, and this is where you can upload a spreadsheet of offline conversions that might be happening. Maybe you're selling tickets at an event and you wanna upload those conversions to LinkedIn. So let's do a inside tag conversion. So when I click that, then we're gonna start the setup process. The first thing it's gonna ask me is to name the conversion. So I can just give this any name that will label this so I know what this conversion event represents. So say I wanna create an event for a free consultation call that someone is signing up for on my website. I'm gonna label this free consultation. The next input is selecting the key conversion behavior that I wanna track. This puts your event into a set of categories, a set of predefined list of categories so that you can organize your events together. Now, because this is someone is signing up for this free consultation call, I'm gonna call it a sign-up event. But yours might, be, might fall into another category. Next, you're, you're gonna select the value of your conversion event. This is an optional field. So if this is a purchase conversion, maybe there's a certain value associated with that, but also if your team values leads at a certain rate, maybe you would put that value here. The next question is the time frame for when this conversion event should be counted. And this is typically based on how soon or long it typically takes somebody to perform this action. So you all have the option for a click window and a view window. And this is saying that if this event happens within 30 days of a user clicking on the ad, then it will count that conversion event. But if that action happens 31 days after they clicked on the ad, then it will not count this event because it's outside the window. So you can set both the click window and the view window here. The next option is for the attribution model on how you wanna credit this event, and there's two options here. First is last touch each campaign, and the second is last touch last campaign. And what this means is you might have multiple campaigns running that are, that are reaching a user before they take a certain action, selecting last touch each campaign will count a conversion event to each of those campaigns that touch a user before they take an action. Whereas last touch last campaign will only credit the last campaign for will only credit the last campaign that touched the user before they took that action. So last touch last campaign will count one conversion event for every action that happens. Last touch each campaign could credit more than one campaign, but you can see all the campaigns that helped influence that behavior. On the next page here, I can then choose my setup options. Using website actions is the easiest method that most people do start with. So if you're using the insight tag, it'll automatically pull in all the buttons that it's seen and all the pages that are available, making for a very easy setup process. So let's say I know I have a call confirm page that after somebody signs up for that consultation call, they are then redirected to the call confirm page. And I know that if they made it to that call confirm page, they've uh, completed the sign up for the consultation call and I'll call that a conversion then. So I'm gonna find my call conversion page here and I'm gonna select that. Now I can go to my next step. Um, 
and there's also options here for a manual conversion setup if you want to, uh, if your pages aren't built yet and maybe you have a URL schema that you wanna use, you can use that with manual conversion setup or you can do it with a tag manager integration. I'm gonna click next here and then the final page here is to select which campaigns I wanna associate this conversion event to. Say I only wanna uh, add it to a couple campaigns and not all, I could then choose one or two campaigns to add this conversion event to, and so it will only have the chance to be credited to one of these two campaigns. Alternatively, I could choose to select all campaigns if I want all to be credited. And then finally, I'm gonna click the Create button, and at that point, it's created my conversion event, and I'm gonna see that in the list here. Uh, at first, LinkedIn might say inactive or unverified, so come back here to monitor your event to make sure that this turns to active. So that's the process here for setting up a conversion event inside LinkedIn ads. Uh, I hope you found this video valuable and now you'll know how to set up your own conversion events when the time comes. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them below and we'll answer them from there.